I'm here with Maxwell Twartz from Technical Audio Group. Max, welcome. Thank you very much. Tell us about the GLD-80 from Allen & Heath. Okay, well, we've just released this uh, GLD-80. It's a, a smaller version of iLive to some extent, but it really it's targeted at replacing um, an analog, a typical analog type, type system. Okay, now there's, the processing on this system happens inside the console rather than inside an external rack as it does with iLive? That's correct, yeah. Whereas, whereas you'd probably use iLive in a venue or a, a, a church or a theatre where you want to address a number of zones and you want to control it from a number of laptops in different rooms or whatever as part of a network, you'd probably use an iLive T. But whereas you're just mixing a show, uh, you'd probably use a GLD. Okay, now you've still got remote rack options, yeah? You have, yeah. What, what are our IO options for that? Uh, there's uh, a 2412 is the main um, stage box. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an expander which is 84, and there's another. There's two. You can use two expanders and one of the main stage boxes. Plus there's four inputs on the back of the mixer itself. So you've got a total of 44, uh, 32 mix buses, and 20 outputs. So it's a pretty respectable channel count um, for a, a surface which is really quite quite compact and, and fairly easy to lift with you know, one person. Um, now, four banks of 20 faders. Um, I was having a play. It looks like the software is a bit different from iLive. The things like allocating channels onto your faders and so on seems a little bit easier now. It's sort of drag and drop. Is this new generation? Yeah, it is. It's the new, it's the new generation of iLive T type software, but it's, it's on the GLD first. It's going to be integrated into um, iLive T um, over the next few months, uh, but yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a lot d different. It's a little bit more graphically attractive, a little bit friendlier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Now there's an I/O slot on the back. What cards can we get to put into that? I uh, it's pretty flexible. You can use AES, Dante, uh, Waves card, MADI, uh, Ether Sound, so and, and there's a multi I/O card with ADAT and things as well. Correct. Yes. Brilliant. Okay, what sort of dollars are we looking at for a system with a, a GLD-80 surface and, say, a 24 by 12 rack? About uh, retail price, about 13000 for that combination. Then you add another, you can add another couple of the, the, the racks. So really, it's, it really is designed to make a digital platform a viable alternative previously for, for where an analog console was used. Yeah, absolutely, and it's it's a larger style of surface where you know analog people feel a lot more comfortable as well. And this this type of interface here is is very analog feel. Yeah, you've got the sort of analog style controls there, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and you can you can operate the system in a few different ways from the touch screen or you know with the buttons or from this analog control as well. And I believe there's an iPad version of the interface on the way. Yes, iPad is uh, is promised relatively soon. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's going to be a good option as well. Awesome. Well, we'll stay tuned for that. Thanks for your time, Max. My pleasure. Alan and Heath, GLD80.